Hey everyone, so this weekend I had someone email me and they were basically saying, hey, our organization has, um, I don't know, it was like 10 to 20 um, e-learning modules that were already developed in Articulate Storyline. However, they were developed at 720 by uh, 405. So they were developed at a much smaller size um, than than they currently wanted. So they wanted to increase the size to at least 1024 by 768 for iPad and they were wondering how to do that without having to shift all of the objects on the uh, on the slide when they did a resize. Now there's a couple things here. So right now we're going to go into the design tab of this project, go into story size, and now we're at a 1280 by 600. And you'll notice that the lock aspect ratio is on. Now, if I were to unlock the lock aspect ratio, change it 1024 by 768, because that's what she wanted, and click OK. Um, we might have some, yeah, so we're going to have some issues here. So look, you'll see all the objects have kind of shifted. So let's go back. Um, there's another thing that you can do here is that you can click lock aspect ratio. Now this is a widescreen, so 1024 by 768 isn't going to fit, but if you go to custom and so here's the 720 by 540, sorry, which was her, the four by three, which was her um, existing storyline setup. Um, and if you go to 16 by nine, which is the widescreen version, it should, look negligible um, let's see here yeah so there's like a few things that you need to shift but it's not crazy anyhow shifting anything is still super annoying um, let's go back yeah okay great shifting anything is super annoying so what I suggested to her because I was like well you know there's not really a super great way to do that you often get into an area a situation where you still have to shift a few things um, slide by slide if you have a hundred slides that's a lot of shifting so what you can do alternatively is go into your player settings <clears throat> and there's a little cog here that says other and that's what we want to do now you'll notice that this is set to lock player at optimal size so what that means is that if say we publish let's publish just one slide um, We'll go to web, not entire project, a single slide, we'll just do 1.1, publish. So if we publish, this is going to lock the player at the optimal size. So let's see here, and you see that because that size is larger than this frame, as I scale it, you're getting scroll bars, not ideal. Um, so, the alternative that I gave her that did work was to go into your player settings, other, and make sure that your player size is set to scale player to fill browser. We're going to click OK. We're going to republish that slide again. Now, what scale player to fill uh, browser window is, is that no matter what size they're on, if, they, if they're on a bigger monitor or if they're on a smaller monitor, it's going to scale to fit that device or that browser. Um, so let's view project. And now you'll notice, so we've got that same small screen. Now when I scale my browser, it scales with it. So this has allowed her to not have to go into each project and tediously um, reposition slide objects. So I thought that was a good tip to discuss with, uh, with the audience here and hopefully it helps some of you guys with, uh, with your sanity. So have a good day. I will see you next time.